Hey, what's up guys? Xavier Cottle with Hawks and Analysis coming back at you again with another film room breakdown slash analysis. Today we're going to be doing Garrett Bowles' left tackle for the Denver Broncos. Um, I like Garrett Bowles. Um, I think he has good footwork. Uh, he moves pretty fluently, but um, his pass pro, he definitely has issues. And it's more of, it's more of just solely it's not really his technique form wise it's just more of what he's doing during the play um it's he's really opening up lanes for blitzers stuff like that just with his drop his drop he doesn't drop vertically enough he get, he gets too uh he moves too too much laterally on his drop but still yet yeah, he he's a pretty good he's a very good run blocker he's good uh when it comes to substance on his pass blocking he does a good job pass blocking in general uh, like I said, it's just a little bit of technique, but yeah, before we get into the video, uh, if you like film analysis, if you like picks, if you like power rankings, uh, things of them, na of that nature, uh, I'm your guy come to like, uh, subscribe to my channel. I post multiple videos a week, uh, seven, sometimes eight, you know, of just football in general, NFL. Uh, yeah. So if you like offensive linemen, if you like seeing who's the best every week, um, if you like picks, if you like power rankings, yeah, drop a subscribe. I'm going to be posting multiple videos a week. But uh, that being said, let's just get straight into the video here. First play is going to be uh, first quarter, 15 minutes. Here he is at left tackle. Boom. Yeah, does a really good job backside blocking here. Um, and doesn't uh, lose ground here. I like that. Uh, notice how he steps, opens up, jacks his shoulder up and moves him out, and then doesn't lose a lot of ground here, so it keeps his cutback lane, and then blocks him uh, back up field there, just to ensure that he's not going to get back on the play, and that uh, Philip Lindsay's going to have a good cutback lane there. Good block overall there from him. Next play, 14-27 of the first. Here he is at left tackle. Boom. Yeah, right here he does a good job. Uh, he doesn't. He he does a good job setting. Boom. Looks inside. Gets the hand on. Makes sure he gets there, and then moves laterally out. Does a good job moving back, and laterally gets a hold of 58 there. Makes a good block. Uh, really good technique from him there. Um, Good job of being aware of his surroundings, helping his guard out as much as he can, and then getting his block. Here he is. The block there. Yep. Uh, his job here is to release this in. They have a guard pulling. In slow mo. Uh, takes a nice step. Gets a hold of 70, sets back. No 66 there to help him, but 66 don't have to help him really at all, and he just stays his gap, both hands out. Yeah, this is really good protection for Drew Locke here. Yeah, great rep from him there. Yeah, next play is 13-12, which is... I think to play after, so we can just let this one roll. Right here he is. Boom. Good ref there from him. That's a really aggressive punch. Notice how he knocks 50 off balance. In slow-mo. Here he is. Good step, good step. See how he's getting back? Um, you'll see later in the game... He will move too far out, and it'll really open up a huge holes for people to blitz through if they do bring a blitz. Um, yeah, his job, still even on this play, see how he just keeps, he's getting impatient, and he's like kind of wants to come to this guy. But right here, he doesn't do a bad job at all. And then as soon as he makes contact, he moves his feet, uh, mirrors his opponent there. That's a really good block from him.
Exploit 932. Here's Garrett. Boom. Works to the second level effortlessly. It's a very good block and gets the pancake. Now, this guy isn't perfect. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Garrett definitely has his flaws, like I said. But uh, he's a quality left tackle there for the Broncos. Broncos love seeing him. Uh, they haven't had much stability on their offensive line in a couple of years. And uh, refreshing seeing him and um, Graham uh, Glasgow really having the weeks they did this week. And that was a really exceptional block from him. Just notice his, notice his footwork initially here. Uh, good step. Gets his hand on, makes sure his guard takes over, and then works to the next level. Gets his hat on his outside shoulder there. Jacks him up, works his hips around, secures the block. And then boom, 51, puts him on the ground. That's a great block there from Garrett. Next play, 856. All right, here's Garrett. Boom. Yeah, uh, right here. This is a combo block to this backer right here. And what Garrett should do, once he feels his guard leave, he should work his hips back around here because he's going to ultimately want to go through this gap as it was. Even though it gets closed down, he should be trying to work his way back to the inside, but instead he kind of just sits there and he's just... He can't really get his way back in there. But still, that's a good combo block initially. It's just I want to see more effort to move himself back to the inside and secure this block rather than just staying on his outside shoulder. Uh, but still, yeah, like I said, initially good block. Uh, just a little bit more effort there um, once his guard leaves. Next play, 759. Eight fifty six. Next play three oh seven. I apologize. Eight fifty six. Right here's Garrett. Yeah, great set there from him. Great block. Um. Yeah, not a big issue there. With it. He gets good depth here. See how he's not going to him. He's dropping back, making 90, making contact. Um, one thing I really don't like about his pass protection is just how early he shoots his hands. See how see how the punch, it's not really a punch. It's just he's throwing them out there to make contact and then just using his upper body and lower body just to really control this defensive end instead of uh, absorbing his rush with that punch. Uh, that'll come with time. Um, but still, yet it's it's still a really good block from Garrett. But if he would do that, it would stop um, it would stop number ninety there from getting a, a, probably another yard of push if he would just really use his uh punch, and really be more aggressive with it. But still, yet that's a good rep. That's a good block from him. Next team, next play, fourteen twenty in the second. Here's Garrett. Yeah, he gets beat on his inside here. Ends up holding, uh, I, and I don't know if it gets called. Yeah, it looks like the, the ref is grabbing for his flag here. Um, but right here, he just steps. He quits moving his feet. He kind of just, feet just kind of go stale here. Uh, he gets his outside shoulder, and he stops right here. See how he stops his feet, and then the guy just keeps going and ends up beating him. He holds him. Uh, you know, it's a bang-bang hold right there. It's hard to call that one, but still yet, um, I, you don't like seeing his feet. You know, he right there. The, right here, his feet are really close together, no wide base, and he should be trying his hardest to get his hat back right in front of his. But right now, it's on this inside shoulder of him. Um, it wasn't a horrible block initially, but I, 
I don't know why he stopped moving his feet there. He should have kept moving his feet and ends up losing uh, the rep there because he does that. But still, yeah, that's a minor minor issue. All he has to do is move his feet a little bit more there, uh, keep running, and he makes that block flawlessly. Second quarter, 12-26, next play. But, yeah, like I said, uh, like I said, he does have good footwork, though. That that was really the only play I saw where his feet weren't really churning because he does have exceptional footwork. Um, I really like Garrett Bowles as a player overall. Uh, I'd love to have him on the Colts, honestly. Um, Anthony Costanzo has been a great center, 10-year veteran for the Colts, but... Uh, now we're seeing him regress. If we could have a Garrett Bowles there, I'd be I'd be all for it. Boom, good block. Handles the stunt very well. Notice the depth. Notice, notice. See here, he's backing up. Still backing up, backing up, backing up. Sees him stunt inside. Immediately gets a hold of him. Gets back in front of him. Yeah, great job by him and his left guard there, uh, controlling that stunt. Should have been a touchdown, giving Drew Locke a good pocket there. That was a really well placed ball. If it was, you know, guy should have caught it. Next play, five thirteen. There's Garrett. Boom! Yeah, great job there. Great job. Let's see it one more time, full speed. He notices this guy wants to come inside, moves late, and just takes his momentum and runs him into his guard there, or center, I should say. Actually, that is his. Yeah, that's a center. Yeah. Just takes it, does a good job of getting on his inside and running him with his momentum into his center, getting a pancake there. That's a really good block from Garrett there. Good recognition on the fly, noticing he wanted to uh, shoot this inside gap. Getting a good block, washing him down, and open up a huge hole for Philip Lindsay there. Gashing them from a great run. Offensive line for the Broncos played fantastic against the uh, Patriots. Not something you can say about many off many offensive lines, seeing that the Patriots are you know coached by Bill Belichick, probably the greatest defensive mind to ever exist in the NFL. Next play, 42 in the second quarter, last play in the second. Fair amount of plays in the third quarter. Uh, I think the Broncos controlled the ball for a good portion of the third quarter. Right here he is. Boom, good rep. Let's see it one more time. That's kind of quick. All right, and this is what I was talking about. Um, you see how he's like, he, he, he doesn't drop back laterally here. And this could be a play call. It's not play action. So I don't think they're trying to sell the run here. He's going out. AD's going out. He should be dropping vertically here instead of going to the guy. And notice when you do this, if somebody stunts around, they're coming through this gap, opening this gap. You know, there's a lot of gaps in this offensive line right now. And that's and one of the partially the reason is is just because of the way the defensive line set up. This is a wide nine technique. But still, yeah, he should be dropping back vertically instead of going to him in that instance. Uh, he does a good job making the block, like I said. Even when he does that, he he still, the substance is there. Uh, he ends up getting beat at the second portion of it, though, but it's already been three seconds, you know, three, four seconds. So that's still a good block in my book. Um, I just would like to see him not be out on his toes there. You saw how he put his weight kind of into him. Instead of sitting back, punching See how he just kind of throws his hands there. He doesn't punch and then just throws his weight into him, gets off balance, and then gets beat because he's off balance. Uh, I don't want to see that. I want to see him sit back, make a good block, make a quality block, do it the right way. Next play, 12-39 the third. There's Garrett. There's Garrett. Yeah, good recognition there from him. Uh, running back was trying to run right off his hip. Ends up getting the pancake, too. 
Um, his matchup initially would have been combo block to him. He sees him coming late here. Let's see it. Yep. Recognizes him coming late. Takes a good step here. Gets his hat on the outside of his shoulder. Keeps running. Yep, right there it is. It ends up getting the pancake right here because of it. Puts him on the ground. Great block there. <clears throat> that linebacker actually did enough to really disrupt this play, but still yet. Uh, that was a really good that was really good recognition from Garrett there and a really good block to finish it off. Five yards down the field with a pancake. The uh, next play, 11.59 in the third quarter. There's Garrett. Yeah, uh, this is another instance of it. Okay, so... You, See how I was talking about he goes too far laterally out and it opens up these holes. Well, here comes the stunt, and notice how when he goes laterally out, instead of taking this vertical drop, what happens? He gets beat on the stunt because of it. He's not far enough back. This guy comes through, and this opens up a two-on-one situation, and Drew Locke gets creamed because of it. That's something you don't want to see. Like I was saying, uh, defensive line coaches are going to notice this. <clears throat> defensive coordinators are going to see one of your tackles not getting far enough vertically on your drops in to stunt that side, and that's going to be the result every time. When you have this much room here and you're not getting vertical, boom, <clears throat> this, that's going to happen. And that's just, like I said, it's a technique issue. He, he needs to understand that's happening. But the, but the thing I really don't understand is for the first half he wasn't doing this. And then in the second half when he starts doing it, then there's a lot of reps that just don't look clean, don't look good because he's not getting a good vertical drop. Um, like I said, I really don't like seeing that, um, <clears throat> but I don't think it's a huge issue because uh, I think he'll clear it up. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a recurring thing we see from Garibald's, mostly because in the first first half he was doing it perfectly. Uh, I think he might have just been tired and was just kind of uh, losing his technique just a little bit. Here he is again. Yeah, great seal block there. Um, they're running right off his outside shoulder, and he does a really good job of working his hips around here. Takes a great step in slow-mo. See you here. Yeah, good step. Add on the outside shoulder, moving his hips, moving his hips, gets him sealed off. That is a fantastic block right there. Could run a Mack truck through this lane. Uh, unfortunate execution by the other guys over here, but still, yeah, that was a really good, really good block by Garrett Bowles there to seal that outside for him. Yep. Next play, 10-39 of the third quarter. Right here's Garrett. Oh, yeah, that that's an issue. Now, why does this happen? Instead of taking his vertical drop, he is moving too far laterally. See how he just moves laterally out and chases him? And the reason this happens is because this defensive end's faster than him, and he just keeps running to the outside. And Garrett is, is chasing him instead of moving backwards to meet him at the point of contact. And that ends up giving number 90 and the other guy half a sack. And that's a bad rep, man. That's just not good technique. Like I said, that, that'll change. <clears throat> that that will change. Um, I think he'll see this film and be like, oh, I'm moving too far laterally out, so I'm getting beat. And he'll, he'll shore that up. Because like I said, first half, he wasn't doing that. Here's Garrett. Yeah, uh, really good block there, but again, he, he's moving laterally out to meet them instead of, you know, taking his drop. And you see how much room is there. Let's see. Just, you know, if they bring a stunt, if they bring a linebacker blitz over, you, you know, this is, this is bad. 
See how much room there is. There's a lot of room to operate right here for a linebacker, a defensive lineman, someone of that nature. Uh, but still, yeah, that was a really good block from him, though. The substance was there. Like I said, just the technique wasn't. Uh, next play, 5-47 in the third quarter. Good, Garrett. Again, another drop laterally. Uh, I feel like I'm just repeating myself over and over saying this, but still, yeah, it, it has to be pointed out. Because when you do this, it just opens up lanes for other people. Look at this. Look at how much room there is right here. You don't want to see that on your offensive line creating a pocket. Um, Like I said, he should be kick slide, kick slide, kick slide. He should be moving backwards to meet him at the point of contact here instead of being all the way out here as a tackle. Um, that was still a really good block from Garrett, though. So uh, You really can't complain when you're getting that result, but still yet, like I, like I said, you saw that stunt play. That, that, that can happen. And if they keep running that, if they were to run that, a, you know, two, three times in a row, I think he would really focus and be like, all right, this is happening to me. But it's not. They're just using it as uh, every now and then. Here's Garrett. Yeah, great block here. That was a really good block from him. Uh, but still, yet, yet again, he's just moving he's just moving to them he's not setting back making a good block he's just doing it his way <clears throat> which i think the reason for that one was oh hey, yeah, yeah my fault i apologize that was play action that was a, a slide left protection that is exactly what he was supposed to do on that play uh my bad but still but he, he does make a really good block here so i can say on this play that was a good rep uh my bad um, yeah, I had my notes mixed up here. My fault. Uh, third quarter. Next play, 46. But, yeah, like I was saying, I, you know, as much as I've said, oh, uh, I've harped on him about him moving too far laterally out. Uh, yeah, this play again. I'm saying it again. He, he's moving laterally. Slide his protection over here. Drew Locke does. Seeing these many people thinking the blitz is coming. Garrett, again, is... I mean, look how much room there is here. What happens when this much room is here? What happens whenever this isn't collapsed? Well, you're about to see it. Here comes him right up the middle. Like, there's just too much room there. Too much room. I don't like seeing that. But still, yeah, that was that was still a good block from Garrett. Uh, don't get me wrong; that's he has the substance, like I'm saying. He he has the ability to make these blocks, but I still just do not like the f fact that he is just constantly coming towards them instead of taking his drop and letting them come to him. Uh, this play, this was just him. His his job was to seal them out. And I only threw one of them in here. There's a couple in here that look pretty good, but this one was the best one. His uh, right-hand punch there was just really good, really aggressive. Wish he'd use it more on his pass set, but boom. Yeah, gets him off balance, gets 90 blocked out. It's a perfect seal block. He does a really good job right there. I like that. Don't like how his hand's on the outside. I wish he'd fight back under, but still, yeah, that's a really good block from him. Next play, 11.01 in the fourth. Or 11.04, my fault. Here's Garrett. Yeah, right here. See, 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 see. He doesn't take this horrendous lateral steps. Like, he comes a little bit laterally, but he's dropping back. See, he's dropping back. Boom. 
makes contact, puts his head on his uh, helmet, and then just runs him out. Does a good job. He never goes near the quarterback here. He always keeps his body in the way of this defensive end with the quarterback. That's a really good rep from him. And I like seeing how he fixed that late in the game because, you know, earlier portions of the third quarter, or pretty much the whole third quarter, he was just really, it was really irking me seeing that constantly from him. But still yet, um, that's all the plays I have for him. Um, I really like Garrett Bowles, like I said. I, I think he, he has this really fluid movement. I like it. He, he's never off balance. Um, he has good footwork. Uh, you, you know, and I really like seeing that out of Garrett Bowles. He's, he's a really good left tackle. I think that is exactly his position where he should be. Um, yeah, other than that, I really don't see an issue in his game. I think he's a good run blocker, too. Uh, I think he's the whole package. I think he's a good run blocker. I think he's a good pass blocker. I just think he has... Like I said, the technical issues in his pass protection really being just the fact that he is moving too far laterally sometimes. It's like he's trying to come to the defensive end. He, he has to be patient. He has to take his kick slide, you know, be patient, meet him at the point of contact, shoot his hands, and he'll be good. Um, yeah. You know, like I said, other than uh, moving too far laterally and not using his punch to his advantage, that's the only issues I have with him. But other than that, he is a very, very solid left tackle uh, for the Denver Broncos. Like I said, I like seeing that. Denver Broncos really haven't had any um, <clears throat> stability on the offensive line since I think Ryan Clady, if I'm not mistaken. So it's really a uh, breath of fresh air seeing him play that well. Him and uh, Graham Glasgow. I think Graham Glasgow is a really quality right guard, too. But yeah, that's all I have for this video. Um, if you like the content, you know, drop a like, drop a subscribe. You know, I post five of these a week and then plus my picks and my um, picks and predictions and my uh, power rankings. Yeah, yeah. That being said, yeah, this video is done uh, and I'll be seeing you next time, guys.